man, this has been incredible, man. An incredible performance, incredible opportunity, man. And uh, this is for everybody out there checking me as following. You know, I like to stay current with y'all and keep you up to breast of what's going on with me and the things that I'm into and what I'm doing. And uh, let you know the motivation behind the madness, man. And it's like you got to keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it 100 all the time, man. You got to be ready. We got here. I had like 10 minutes to go on stage and jump in there, and we just... We just did it, man. It was incredible, you know, and um, the energy was right. The feeling was right. There's so much beautiful beauty around me that it was easy for me to jump up there and do my thing. But the point that I'm trying to make is that this is the type of situations that are going to make you break you in this business. Because if I had came and not did what I needed to do and not been prepared and uh, not been on time and been professional, then this opportunity would have passed me by and these future opportunities that they've been offering me would have passed me by. So I just want to share that little insight with that. And uh, get back to me, and then it was King the Album, oh, Salvation, uh, we just laid the, uh, got with my man uh, Tim DeVoe, he's going to be laying the vocal parts, the rock parts for the uh, Salvation record, and now uh, it's pretty much the cap on the album, and, uh, and then there was King, uh, produced by G.O.D. of Adama Hum Records, this album is incredible, I'm so proud of it, it's like 12 songs of just, every song is individual, every song has its own representation, and nothing sounds alike, and I think that's important because you get artists like they get a hot record and they do the same type of production on a hot record, and then you got another artist who try to copy that artist's production so they can get the same sales and, and hits and stuff that that artist got. So it's, you got this perpetual, perpetual cycle of mediocrity that um, is just going on out here, and we have uh, prided ourselves in creating an album. Uh, and then there was King, the album, which is just 12 individual singles or hit records if you will that are all unique have their own shine they're all have their own light but they all are heavy hitters uh rock and roll rebel 21 and up king and i salvation um laugh now cry later um what else is on there uh t cap and me got how my crown me and uh ricky balboa got strip club which is an incredible record featuring my man ruza bay on the flamingo guitar uh, my man Thomas McLaren on the bass, uh, produced by G.O.D., incredible record. I think the Strip Club record is going to take me out the stratosphere. I mean, it's not even a single. It's just that incredible of a record. Uh, but then again, we could say that about every record that's on the album. Um, one, one MC, um, and there's a couple more I can't think of right now to the Eagles 12, but it's incredible. And I'm really proud of it, and I'm uh, really feeling myself right now because I know I got something special. And what me and producer G.O.D. have created in the studio was something that will... Think it's gonna last through time, and I just watched um, last night on TV. Um, they had like a whole thing on my man Tupac, and Pac was saying about how, you know, you know, when he got out of jail, he did like 24, you know, records like in two weeks, and that he was just saying like, you know, it was just really more about his work ethic, you know, and what it takes, you know, what he did, what he, what his um, vision of success was, and his work ethic, and it just like re inspired me to want to even go harder like to even do more like I already go hard and everybody who knows me know that me and why he goes super hard and we don't waste any opportunities and we capitalize on everything but that just like reformatted my brain to like look I'm gonna do a whole nother thing now you know what I mean so you guys uh, better step it up man you know what I mean because keep playing keep playing anybody who know who out there who I'm talking to know who I'm talking to because you know in your heart just stop playing. Stop fucking playing. Okay? You want to get down with your boy? You want to do things? You want to make things happen? Let's make it happen. If not, then be a mouse. <laughs> like why he said, be a mouse. You know what I mean? Y'all pretty much more comfortable being mice anyway. You know what I mean? I'm a wolf. So, yo, big shout out to everybody who support King Castle. Watch out for the end that was King the album. Go to ReverbNation.com forward slash King Castle. Just Google Domaham Records Atlanta. Google King Castle. Atlanta, producer G.O.D., Wahid Muhammad, Damaha Records, Google any of that. Check us out. Big out to my man Cap. Look out for the Dope Through Your Speakers record. Look out for the Guilty record that we just did. Big up to Danny Shepard. Big up to uh, my man Smitty Ott. And that's pretty much all I got to say about that. We're going to hang up some more footage, and I'm going to go home and catch this Patriots game and get ready for the nightlife. So, holla at your boy. One.